Hi, I'm Stephanie McKittrick. Welcome to this video. And today I want to bring to you a word from the Lord. But before we start, let's pray. So Holy Spirit, I thank you for a fresh new day. I thank you for the chance to, to, to speak your words through this video. And I pray for the, everybody who watches this and listens to this, that they will have ears to hear and that they will have the hearts to receive this message. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, I have been speaking to a lot of people, I've been going through a lot of things myself lately and um, God keeps bringing me back to this this particular scripture and I want to read it out to you. And um, you know, first of all, it's just to say, see your Bible, it really, really is so, so powerful. You know, the answers to all of your problems are in here. There's no problem or situation that you will go through in these days that the answer isn't already sitting in the scriptures written by God. Everything that you need is in here, so it is. So I'll read this to you. Um, after this, a Jewish festival took place and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. By the sheep gate in Jerusalem, there is a pool called Bethsaida in Aramaic, which has five colonnades. Within these lay a large number of the disabled, the blind, lame and paralyzed. One man was there who had been disabled for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and realised he had already been lying there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to get well? Sir, the disabled man answered, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I'm coming, someone goes down ahead of me. Get up, Jesus told him. Pick up your mat and walk. Instantly, the man got well, picked up his mat and started to walk. Awesome, and sorry, that was John chapter five. But here's the thing. How many of us are in a situation where just like that man that we have sat down, we're waiting for something. We know that God has the power to heal us. We know that we can have a breakthrough, but we have sat down in this place. And that man sat there for 38 years and he believed that his miracle was coming one way until Jesus walked up to him and simply said, pick up your mat and walk. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It doesn't tell us any more about what the man's reaction is says he instantly, he instantly was healed. But right now, God is saying to you, pick up your mat and walk. So many people are sitting waiting for a, for a healing, they're waiting for a breakthrough, they're waiting for this and they're waiting for that. They've sat down and they've all but maybe even spiritually disabled themselves, sitting there waiting for this miraculous move of God to just pick them up from obscurity and you know drop them into a whole other realm of existence. But here's the thing, God has already done it. He did it at the cross. Jesus did everything at the cross. Your road has already been mapped out for you. The miracles have already been done. The breakthroughs are already done. You just need to pick up your mat and walk. And often, a lot of the times, I think about the children of Israel and um, they're being set free from captivity. They're being set free from all this slavery, unspeakable things would have happened against those people, unspeakable poverty. And then they come down to this place in the path and they're met with this big sea. And you know, and then well, we all know the story, God parts the sea and they walk through. But I wonder did any of them take up take up, you know, take up a wee seat at the side of the road and say, Oh, I can't go through with this, God, this is too hard. I can't walk this road. This is too much. Lord, will you not just pick me up from here and put me over at the other side? <laughs> You've got me this far, God. I know you can do it, <laughs> you know, but it doesn't work that way. They had to walk through that road. They had to walk through that path, but it had been cleared and it was all in front of them. And um, I'll just read you another scripture, which is a very, very famous scripture, Isaiah 41, 10. Do not fear for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold on to you with my righteous right hand. And those are words from God. And if he's wrote it, and if he said it, he means it. 
and he's done it. And it's as simple as that. And see, this time, if you're facing something, you're really, really up against something and you're just stuck in that place and you just don't know how to get out, you hold on to the word of God and you say, well, hold on a minute, God. Your word says that I'm not to fear, that you are with me, that you will hold on to my right hand. And you pray into it and you say to him, come on, God, let's get up and walk. Let's go with him. But even as that man sat by the pool at Bethsaida and he was sitting there and he had the excuses. I can't get down into the pool. There's nobody here to carry me. Every time I go down, somebody gets in before me. And Jesus has just come along and said, get up and walk. Just get up and go. You know, and how many of us right now are sitting with our breakthroughs are already paid for. It's already done. All we have to do is get up and walk. So the word for today is pick up your mat and walk. Take God by the right hand. Go and be blessed in Jesus' name.